Equibuild at 13 as they approach the uh, horse trial support group wall at 14. Nicely through that as they make their way along this uh, slow incline heading towards the gap in the trees. Louisa Lockwood just takes the flag out of part C of the uh, Smith & Williamson offsets. Jumps between those flags so no penalties to add on Bally Farris flight. Louisa Lockwood over now. The uh, eighth on course, the Richard Col Coglin log pile. Meanwhile, Pippa Funnel, one left to go. The British eventing festival finale at 24. Arctic Soul and uh, Gemma Tattersall, they go clear of the uh, leap at 15 as they come down to the Land Rover Folly at 16. A and B as they approach the first part of it, the A, nicely over that. Then they've got these two corners, they line up and uh, no problems through B and safely through the C element. Louisa Lockwood and uh, Bally Farris flight over the ninth on course, the Hamptons International House. In fact, hearing they're through the ventricrinal crossing at 10, taking the flag away at fence 10. They did that as well at fence six, part C of the Smith and Williamson. So the flag again going at fence 10. They head on to the Bedmax stick pile at 11, Louisa Lockwood. Arctic Soul, Gemma Tattersall, they go clear of the ever shot cookers, the triple brush at 18. And uh, they now come down towards the Arkeo group 19 A and B. And in fact, they're clear of the beta, beautifully clear of the saddle halls at 20 as they approach and go clear over the WSP solicitors Oxa at 21. Scores to bring you for Pippa Funnel and Mirage Dale. Cross country uh, jumping penalties of none. So none to add cross country jumping penalties, but uh, 12 time. So total of 65.4, finishing in a time of six minutes, 44 seconds. So a new starter on the course. This is uh, Junior the second. This is number 322, Emily Llewellyn, and uh, owned by Cindy Llewellyn. They carry 48.5, clear show jumping. This 13-year-old uh, black gilding, and they are to the rear of the commentary box as they come down towards the Hamptons, sorry, the log pile at eight. Well, Louisa Lockwood and Bally Farris flight, the second of those to come forward to jump a fence that's not on course. They jumped the uh, hay, hay trailer, the blue and red hay trailer before fence 14. There's no penalties though, it's not crossed off. They can jump it if they want to, but it's actually not in the course. Louisa Lockwood, Bally Farris flight, head clear through 14, the horse trials support group. Now away through the trees towards the park bowl. So Junior the second and Emily Llewellyn, they go nicely clear of the uh, crossing down at 10, the A, B and C element as uh, they come back towards the stick pile at eight. Arctic Soul, meanwhile, they've completed the course as uh, Junior the second. We can see them just below the commentary box as they head down the uh, incline towards the valley bottom, turning left-handed, looking pretty strong as they head off towards the uh, Bouvet, Lidove, double brush at 12. Louisa Lockwood and Bally Farris flight going very well through 16 on course. The Land Rover at the Folly, the A, B and C combination and our latest starter, Ben Hobday. Ben Hobday riding at Sally Riles, Mulry's era. Their dressage of 61.5, four show jumping penalties, runs elite eventing and uh, shadow sports horses sponsored by Bailey's Horse Feeds. They are over the fifth on course, the Hamptons International round top. June the 2nd and Emily Llewellyn, they go nicely clear of the Martin Collins Equibuilt at 13. Meanwhile, for Arctic Soul, this is uh, one of the first horses in this Open Championship that's gone inside the time. Time allowed is uh, 6 minutes and 14 seconds. And they did it in 3 seconds better than that, 6 minutes 11. So no time penalties to add and no jumping penalties. So they carry their total of 50.5. Refusal at part C of fence six. The Smith and Williamson offset for Ben Hobday and Mulroy Zara. Clear seven though and go behind us now for the eighth on course. The Richard Colgan, uh, Coglin log pile. So now carrying that additional 20 penalties. Ben Hobday heads towards the ninth on course. The Hamptons International House. New starter just got underway. This is uh, Jamaimo. T.S. Jemima, this 15-year-old uh, bay gelding ridden by uh, Christopher Burton, owned by the J.S. Jemima Syndicate. 45 dressage, just the one down show jumping, so four penalties, so 49 as they get underway. And uh, they're sponsored by Shockamola Sports. 
And they go clear of the uh, Dubarry boot at one. Well, Louisa Lockwood, two left for her on course, the Jules picnic table, and then the British eventing festival finale. Well, a uh, refusal at part B offence, 10 on course for uh, Ben Hobday. Ben, who had a problem at fence six, incurs a further 20 penalties on uh, the 10th fence on course, part B. Clear second attempt, but takes the flag with them at 10. They head now for the uh, 11th, the Bedmax stick pile, Ben Hobday. So JS, Jamemo and Christopher Burton, they go clear of the uh, John Williams tables at fence four as they now come toward the Hampton International Round Top at fence five. Meanwhile, the Junior the second and Emily Llewellyn, they are going over or towards the WSP solicitors Oxa and nicely through that as they turn left-handed as they come down towards the exciting Equex China Water Complex at 22. It's always a very popular one to watch this, particularly on a sunny afternoon as it is today as a junior and Emily Wedding goes into the first bit of that big leap into the water they go through to the boat on the far side nicely done as they go clear and come out the far side nice and dry at the Equibuild complex part B Ben Hobday Mulroy Zara they come away from part C of that combination the ABC in the far side of the course and scores to bring you for Louisa Lockwood and Bally Farris flight no cross-country jumping penalties but 15.2 time penalties Brings their score to 71.5, finishing in a time 6 minutes 52. So now just competing the course is uh, Junior second and Emily Lewedin, so they're safely home. Well, latest away on course, Vittoria Panesen and Barra Pennies. Barra Pennies uh, owned by 